What's up, tribe? I'm here for another quick drop. Listen, Janet Mock goes off. I know y'all probably already heard the story, but let's talk about it a little bit here. Post star Janet Mock, this is according to what am I reading? Uh, da, 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 e Entertainment, um, dot com. Um, Janet, post star Janet Mock gives impassioned speech about salary, infidelity, and more. Janet Mock is speaking up and speaking out. Executive producer and director of FX's hit. Po um, drama Pose had a message to share at the season three premiere party in New York. According to multiple outlet, page six in the Daily Beast, Janet went off script. Her speech was detailed with her speech and detailed her salary and the television on the television series, as well as admitting to cheating on her partner and Pose star Angel Bismarck Curiel. I'm hurting y'all. I see injustice and it hurts me inside. The 38 year old star shared at the event. She praised her co-stars. However, she didn't disclose who she was referring to as the series has several executive producers. She went on to say, why am I making $40,000 a motherfucking episode, huh? She questioned, I am angry. This is truth. This is mother effing truth. Per page six, the best-selling author continued, F Hollywood, does this make you uncomfortable? It should. It should make you effing shake in your mother effing boots. This is speaking truth. This is what Pose is. Janet also expressed disdain about the quality of storytelling from the male writers in the series. First two episodes and even addressed co-creator executive producer Ryan Murphy. The outlet reported. Uh, da, 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 I don't want to read that. Okay. Speaking to Murphy about adding more writers, Janet allegedly said, you brought girls in to help you. Who brought the girls in? She asked him, to which he replied, I did. I wanted the girls to be I there. Never took a straight Sorry. E! News reached out to FX as well as Ryan for comment. However, we have yet to receive a response. Additionally, multiple outlets report Janet discussed her romance with actor Angel telling him to stand up right now. Let me tell you something about love. The transgender rights activist said, Today, I was going to let Angel go. I was going to let you go, right? But what I did do... I effed someone on the crew. Angel, she went on, I'm not losing you. You hear me? You are effing important to me. I don't want to live in a house alone. That, That's who I want. I'm getting what's mine. According to reports, Janet also apologized to writer and producer Our Lady J saying, I tried to shrink you to make myself bigger. Why couldn't I just love you? Before closing her speech, Janet expressed, I effed up, y'all. I forgot who the F I was. They want me to come up here and pretend. I don't need Hollywood, honey. You know why? Because I'm effing free. At this time, Janet hasn't publicly commented on her speech earlier this week. Moreover, Angel and Ryan haven't publicly addressed Janet's speech either. In response to Janet's apology, Our Lady shared a message on her Instagram writing, I'm grateful for all of the work that you that went into allowing us to have a COVID safe premiere for Pose this week. Of course, I can't ignore the events of the evening, but going into details wouldn't be appropriate at this time. I appreciate and accept Janet's amends and I respect the bravery of her acknowledgement of me in public. My opinion. My opinion is that I am here to support. Um, I hope that Janet has surrounded herself with friends and love. This is someone who sounds like they were at the end of their rope. They felt like they didn't know where they could turn and who they could turn to, even to the person they said they love. Oftentimes, in t oftentimes when we are in crisis or we are at that moment, we do hurt the people that love us the most. So for her to cheat on um, Angel, I love them together. I think they're a cute couple, and I really, really hope that they're able to work out this whole situation. Um... T.S. Madison put a post on her Instagram yesterday, and I think I agree wholeheartedly with what T.S. Madison said. It is hard when you are carrying a whole cause on your back. And Janet Mock, because of the success of Pose, because of how um, transparent she has been about who she is and her journey and her struggle, I think that a lot has been put on her over the last few years. Um, and maybe she just got to a point where it was just enough is enough. It sounds like there was a lot of things that were going on behind the scenes. They were smiling and making nice as um, a group. You know, we always, you know, saw that. But I think that maybe behind the scenes, there was a lot going on. It sounds like that there was some pay inequity. It sounds like maybe she felt that her voice was not respected in the room. 
Um, I know last year, Billy Porter made some comments that sort of rubbed some of his castmates the wrong way. And so maybe there's just been some things, you know, it's, it's hard to put the smiley face on all the time when that's not what you truly feel. And with that, I'm going to say that I'm going to reserve any type of condemnation of Janet. And I just send my love and support. And I just hope that wherever she is right now, that she is getting all of that love and support. And that when she's ready to speak, I will be here to hear what she has to say.